Today in the grain market, the final day of this short week and the USDA report day uh, has the markets a little bit mixed. Now, soybeans were higher. That The report was mostly neutral for beans. We had a 30 cent pop. So we had, uh, you know, some big gyrations in the market and it kind of slowed down. But in the end, it really stayed a little bit more firm. It was kind of a surprise because I thought that the, the uh, U.S. and the world stocks were really bearish. That number was a little bit, you know, uh, more than the estimates. And the bean production and the yield were also neutral. The harvest acres were the only thing that was kind of bullish, just that they were just uh, behind a harvest. Uh, but, you know, go figure that the market would turn around. So it almost looks like that the sell-off that we've experienced uh, uh, over the last couple of days might have been uh, a little bit overdone. Uh, right now, the C-Val for uh, beans is 23.3%. Uh, the oil is 34.1% and meal is 226 So it's pretty even, but relatively firm. I mean, it kind of like bounced off the bottom uh, when we were a little bit lower. October volatility is at 22.4%, which is lower than it has been recently, but really historically, it's pretty strong. Now, corn also was higher. That mixed report did bring in buyers and, you know, who knew? Uh, the production numbers were neutral. Uh, the yields were uh, kind of high, actually. So that was bearish. Um, world stocks were bearish as well. The U.S. 2021 was neutral. The U.S. 2122 was bearish. And yet we get some buyers. I mean, so that's the way the market, uh, you know, the market is moving here. And it is the end of the week. It's a short week. And I think that uh, we had a little bit maybe uh, too much selling going on. The C vol for corn today is at 32.3%. The DEC volatility is at 26.5%. Market's pretty strong. The $5 number is still the super support number here. So if we uh, break below that, then we can start, uh, you know, worrying about or just uh, thinking about the, if there's going to be any kind of follow through selling. Now, uh, that being said, wheat was steady today. The futures did show some weakness following the USDA numbers, but uh, they did break, but uh, wheat did break below the $7 big support number. And we had kind of a big sell off. I mean, the futures dipped to six seventy seven today. Uh, the U.S. stock numbers uh, were neutral. Uh, the uh, world numbers were well above average. And I think that that's really put the uh, kibosh on the wheat market right now. Um, the $7 major support number has become a little bit of a magnet. So even though we did dip down to 677, if we can hang around this area, uh, then maybe that would offer a little bit of support. But uh, it's, you know, it's hard to tell at this point. The C vol is down a little bit at 26.8%. So we'll have a full week starting on Monday. And maybe we'll get a little more news or, uh, or steadying of the market and to find a little bit better market direction.